So today I wanted to talk to you about sales calls and address what's really going on when sales calls feel icky or they feel forced. So So today I wanted to talk to you about sales calls and address what's really going on when sales calls feel icky or they feel forced. So this is something that I see pop up a lot with spiritual entrepreneurs. And I went through a lot of this myself when I was first growing my business. And the first thing that really throws off the sales call and makes them feel forced is that you're not energetically in alignment with the actual result of landing a sale or you're not in alignment with your own gift. You don't trust the value of the transformation that you're offering. And because you don't, you're not in energetic alignment for the success you're trying to call in. And so the sales calls are going to reflect this and they're going to feel like force and they're going to feel like struggle uh, because you're still um, operating from a place of imposter syndrome or doubting your gift, doubting the transformation you offer, doubting that you can get the results that you already know that you can get, but then the doubt creeps in. Um, and so you're sort of scattered energy. And if you have scattered energy around what it is you're here to do, um, who it is you're here to serve, right? And you know that you can get the results, um, then what you're going to have showing up on the sales call is going to be a direct reflection of this as far as the interaction and everything like that. And there's going to be doubt and there's going to be imposter syndrome and there's going to be, you know, this scattered energy. It's the lack of alignment, right? So first and foremost, you have to check where energetically you're out of alignment, where your beliefs are not in alignment with what it is you're here to do, right? You got to check in with that. Um, the second thing that I see that really causes the sales calls to be out of alignment and to fall flat and to feel forced is you are um, not in alignment with your ideal soulmate client, meaning you don't really know who it is that you're here to serve. And because of that, this is like a chain reaction in your business. You're not calling in the soulmate clients. And so what's happening on your sales calls is not soulmate clients. What's what's showing up on your sales calls is someone that is also out of alignment with what it is that you're truly here to serve. And so then the whole thing feels off. It doesn't feel, you know, in alignment. It doesn't have that same energetic frequency because you're not super clear on who you're here to serve, which means your messaging is probably falling flat or it's too vanilla or it's too general. So anybody that you do hop on the sales call with is gonna be a direct reflection of this. And then it feels like a struggle or a force because it's not in alignment. It's not what you're really supposed to be doing, who you're really supposed to be helping. And so then the sales calls fall flat. Again, they feel icky or they feel forced. So the third thing that I really see happen a lot, and I've experienced this a lot with myself, is that the end result, the sales, from the sales call, right, is not something that you're in alignment with because it doesn't fit your lifestyle goals. And what do I mean by this? Okay, so for example, a lot of spiritual teachers, healers, and coaches, they're trading a lot of time for money and they're trading dollars for hours. And the more they sell, the less freedom they have, the less of their own lifestyle is being valued. And so energetically, you're not going to be able to show up the same if you know that every new client that you sell is going to take away your freedom or take away your fun or take away your, you know, flexibility and things like that. So if you value freedom, time, flexibility, which I'm assuming you do if you're watching my videos, because I'm all about building a freedom based lifestyle, you know, business that is completely in alignment with your soul mission as well. It's got to be a win-win all around. And so if it's not a win-win all around and you're going to actually end up sacrificing as a result of the sales, then you will not energetically show up the same on the sales call. Um, even if everything else was in alignment and you're attracting soulmate clients, but your program or offer was not in alignment because 
in this example, it's not scalable enough, and so therefore it's burning you out, then you're not gonna be able to show up and the sales calls um, gonna fall flat. So those are the main reasons why the sales calls, sales calls are either falling flat or they're feeling icky or forced. Again, I'm gonna recap really quick. It's your own energetic alignment around your gift and your message and the transformation that you offer. Still that lingering doubt and imposter syndrome. First and foremost, your own energy is not in alignment. Second, you're not sure who you're here to serve, so you're not in alignment with your soulmate client. And because of that, the people that you're attracting are also not your soulmate client, so everything feels off. Third is your actual program or offer is not in a win-win alignment. It's gotta be a win for you. It's gotta be a win for your client. It's gotta be a win for your impact and your mission. All around, it's gotta be a win-win. If one of those pieces are off, then you're not gonna show up energetically the same way you would on a sales call. You'll actually find ways to sabotage them. Now, I'm gonna talk about another way, another reason why your sales calls could be forced or falling flat, and that could be your block to receiving, your block to receiving abundance and money and clients, because this will all, you know, uh, you know, relate back to somewhat of the imposter syndrome, but also just your mindset around money and what it means to earn money and bring in money and especially for your gift because a lot of people have weird hangups around charging for their gift and charging for their services. Um, and so if you have some funky mindset blocks around money, then even if everything else is in alignment, but you're showing up and you're afraid to make sales in your business because you don't equate like, let's say spiritual with success, or spiritual with money, which I see a lot happening in this industry, then you're not going to show up energetically the same way on a sales call. You know, obviously you can tell that your your energy is gonna be quite different on a sales call if you uh, equate spirituality and success and money and you recognize the truth that, that it's all the same and that's just a, it's, it's all the same, right? Or if you're sitting there thinking that earning money or having money or success is greed or ego driven or um, less spiritual, then you're gonna have a major block on your sales calls. And I think you can see pretty obviously um, if this is resonating with you through your own experience that those are gonna be different vibrations that you're showing up at. And so it may be time to check your beliefs around money and spirituality if that's the case. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you today. Uh, the major reasons I see the sales calls are falling flat, feeling icky or feeling forced. And I hope this video finds you well. If you have any questions around this, please drop them in the comments below or check out my Soul Align Success Masterclass, which is below this video, wherever you happen to be watching it. Um, specifically on this masterclass, I'm gonna share with you how to come into greater alignment with your spiritual business. And if that video resonates with you, then you'll have an opportunity to book a strategy session with me where I do a deep dive with you into your business to help you build a soul aligned business. Also a special announcement, um, in starting here in October, I'm gonna be launching live events where you're gonna to get to tune in with me and I'm gonna dive deep into helping you build a six-figure business blueprint along with other topics um, that I'm still playing around with. So keep an eye out for that because live events are starting here in October and I would love to see you on one of the events and answer any questions that you have.